Hello guys, we're out here in front of Chestnut. Uh, it does have the RV gate over there. So uh, now that you've seen the highlights of the whole house, we'll just go ahead and go through. If we spin around, there's Steve's house, there's your house, Steve, and there's uh, Mitch's. You know, both those houses are looking really nice. Uh, since it's a short sale, the uh, power's off, so it's uh, dark and hot in there. We'll just try to run through. You do have some shade screens here. You got the leaded glass doors, but uh, as you come in, you've got this small 12 inch tile. And it's just right here in this little foyer. From there, the rest is all carpet that would have to go. There's hardly any ceiling fans in the place. And we've just got all this carpet that would have to go. Once you get to the kitchen, it's just all linoleum. So the only tile in this whole house is just this little bit of 12 inch. So realistically, you're gonna have to replace all the flooring downstairs and just go with a nice tile throughout. Because, I mean, this is not an entry that anybody would really want. And you're just getting into all this carpeted walkways that you'd want to get out of here. Again, like we said, just little fixtures here and there. No ceiling fans. There's quite a few cracked windows. Um, right now, this is priced 35000 less than we got Caspian for. And Caspian had granite. Caspian had a pool. I mean, you're, there's going to have to be some money spent here. It does have some stainless appliances. We'll give it that. It does have some taller cabinets. But, I mean, they're oak, you know, kind of older oak. So, you know, whatever. These doors are all this chocolate brownish black throughout the whole house. So every door is probably going to have to be painted twice to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. You know, we have four mica counters. There's uh, just a lot of money that's just going to have to be spent here. Uh, there's no light, so downstairs here just seems pretty dark. But I really don't see anything great. Uh, I'll try to run you upstairs real quick. You know, carpet definitely has to go. So you got all new flooring downstairs. You're going to have lots of paint. You're going to have to carpet the whole upstairs. And I just don't know how much upside you have. This is the one room, just like uh, Caspian. A lot of people just use it as a home theater or something. There's no door. There's no closet. It could be enclosed if you wanted. Here's the double doors that would lead to the master. Good sized master, not even a ceiling fan in the master. Turn around and ba bum linoleum. So no real upgrades here either. Again, just these dark doors everywhere. So again, carpet's got to go. No ceiling fans to speak of. Linoleum. Whoa, there's a ceiling fan. Score. Okay, so again, for Micah here on this counter, we got drywall hole, and we'll go ahead and run look out back. But just the thought that this is priced thirty-five thousand less than we got Caspian, and you would probably have to throw bare minimum seventy, eighty thousand into this to get it where Caspian was when we got it. I mean, this just does not feel like a deal on any level. Oh, here's the patio. Just a small little patio cover. Uh, looks like they might have had a putting green here. We got a little bit of green outlined through here, through this little bit of rock. And then nothing. So it's got the view fencing, but, you know, you just got that farm equipment back there. You got the canal. Really not a whole lot of anything. So this is raw dirt. I mean, just, just to put rock. You would have a lot of expense just to go ahead and do anything with this backyard, just to make it, you know, sellable. So as I said, we're probably talking, you know, at least 80,000 to bring it up to where we were with Caspian and we picked that up at 305. So I really don't see any value in this. The idea was just to have an idea in case the market dropped, but uh, I'll get this sent out, but I just don't see how we can make this one work. Thanks.